glory to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm grateful to come to your life this hour. Sorry for coming in late, but we bless the Lord. It's a beautiful thing to hear the word of God. And uh, because of our time, I will speak a prophetic word over your life and over this month of November. And then I will let you um, have your lunch. Um, I'm speaking about winning by sound. I was to teach, but because of time, let me speak a prophetic word over your life. And then we call it a day. God bless you and God favor you. Whatever you have, my name is City Eagles, the lead pastor. Eagles Dominion House International. Uh, we are here in Nairobi, Kenya, in the heart of Nairobi, Nairobi CBD, in Sunbeam Shopping Complex. We are right opposite Ikut Bank along Fangana Street. You are most welcome to come and fellowship with us. If you get lost um, while trying to find yourself in this place, please call that number down on your screen. Uh, I'll be glad to receive your call and give you advice or pray with you or prophesy over your life or for any inquiry you can call that number god bless you now in the book of second chronicles i want to speak something about this month of november and i want to say this that this month of november we are winning by sound and i want you to get this revelation and i want you to understand what god is saying that we are winning by sound winning by sound now in this month of november it's needful for you to unlock the new sound because november has its own sound and when you unlock this sound everything is gonna be well for you you will talk of victory let me say this the lord spoke to me and told me that november is the gateway to the year 2024 i'll repeat again that november is the gateway into the year 2024 and therefore father in the name of jesus as we read your word we pray that you have your way we pray that you speak to us we welcome you in this broadcast have your way in jesus name amen i repeat again that november is the gateway into 2024 not even december so this is um a very defining season is a very defining month it's not a month to take lightly it's a portal this month is like a portal in the spirit a portal into 2024 so what happens in your life now determines how 2024 will be how you carry yourself in november determines how you're going to be in 2024 therefore if you miss it now uh, chances are that you might struggle in the coming here if there's no remedy of course with god there's always remedy but it could be easy for you if you can win in november and let me say this way a win in november 2023 is a win in the year 2024 a win for you in the month of November 2023 is a win for you again for the year 2024 and therefore I want you to pay attention when I say that we are winning by sound we are winning by sound why am I saying that the enemy will always put up a fight at the gates by now you understand that November is like a gate into 2024 and the devil will always fight you know at the gates to make sure that you don't access what God wants you to access let me repeat again for somebody to understand the enemy always will stand at the gates let me explain this as Peter and John were going to for prayer in the house of God in the hour of prayer the ninth, ninth hour the Bible says that there was a cripple at the beautiful gate this gate is called the beautiful gate but the one seated at the gate is not a beautiful thing 
what we see at the beautiful gate is not a beautiful scene because at the beautiful gate is a cripple that is begging for arms hmm. therefore inside the church wonderful things are happening there is praise taking place place there is the word of God taking place miracles are taking place inside but the guy sits at the gates at the gate of the beautiful temple and the gate is being referred to as the beautiful gate so November is a beautiful gate but only a few will be able to access this beautiful gate but if you hear me the point is and the word for you is that you are winning by sound there is a new sound that you are meant to release in the realms of the spirit and when this sound is released in the realms of the spirit it scatters the forces of darkness when this new sound is released in the realms of the spirit it destroys every scheme and plan of the devil listen to me carefully in the days of Jehoshaphat in 2nd Chronicles chapter chapter 20 verse 20 uh, three kings or three nations and three armies rose up against Judah you can imagine Judah was not big because Judah was a nation and and there was Israel so it was a few people against three nations and they came to fight against Judah and Bible says so, the, so they rose up early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa and as they went out Jehoshaphat stood and said hear me O Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem believe in the Lord to hear that believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established I'm already speaking about 2024 because the year 2024 God is going to establish you but this is the season to access that establishment from God watch this believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established believe his prophets believe his prophets mm -hmm. and what happens when you believe his prophets and you shall prosper there are two things that you are accessing and it's for your good for 2024 and all these things are being unlocked by the new sound that is gonna be released in the realms of the spirit in the spiritual realm watch this and when he had consulted with the people he appointed those who should sing to the Lord so Joseph had consulted with the people and uh, he appoints those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and were saying praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord set ambushes against the people please note that verse 22 when they began to sing and to praise meaning they released a sound that's what I mean by that winning by sound that is that's where it's coming from Bible says now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord set ambushes against the people watch this of Ammon the people of Moab and the people of Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were defeated now Judah did not fight Jehoshaphat received a revelation from the Lord that Joseph at this battle you are not winning by bow and arrow you are not winning by arrow or by spear it's not by might it's not by power but the Lord tells him your army cannot do it only by releasing a sound there are battles let me say this huh. <laughs> 
is time to unlock the divine sound that God had kept in store as a tool to overcome the forces of darkness. Listen to me carefully. What Jehoshaphat and his team did, they released a prophetic sound. They released a prophetic worship. They released a prophetic praise. And this is the highest form of weapon that God uses against the kingdom of darkness. Watch this. The devil can never come against a prophetic sound that is released in the realms of the spirit against him. Remember he was there. So he understands what sound is. He knows what sound can do. And I'm here to tell you, to give you a revelation. To give you a hint that we are winning by sound. Oh, come on. We are winning by sound. You are winning by sound. They didn't fight. Judah did not fight against these three kings. Hmm. Verse 23. So the, the, the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were defeated. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped destroy one another. Now look at that. These three nations, three armies with three kings, they've come up to fight against Judah. But when Judah began to praise God, <laughs> Judah means praise. When Judah began to praise God, the Bible says, God set ambushes against the enemies that had come against Judah. And these guys began to kill each other. And they began to help kill each other. Oh my. Right at the battlefield, what was needed it was the prophetic sound. It was the divine sound from God that is produced when we begin to praise, when we begin to worship, when we begin to sing unto the Lord. We release a sound in the spirit. Now what happened in the days of Jehoshaphat when they began to sing and praise the Lord Mm, they released a divine sound a prophetic sound what I call the sound of revival they released that sound in the realm of the spirit watch this now what happens with this sound this sound scatters the enemies of God this sound brings confusion in the camp of the enemy now watch this this November it's not going to be an easy month because the devil is aware of what God is doing in your life and therefore he is prepared uh -huh. the enemy is prepared to fight your finances to fight your marriage to fight your children uh -huh. to fight your family to fight your business to fight anything that is that is, you know, is caught upon your um, um, that is caught upon your name. Anything that you do, anything that you benefit from, the devil is not happy, and he has come up to fight, and they are not few. The devil has not just sent few demons, because he knows this is the gate to victory. This is the gate. This is the gate that when you access this one, I say November is a gate. When you access it, it's done. He has lost your compass. But Jehoshaphat and his team and his people, they began to worship God. They began to praise him. And they said, praise the Lord for his mercy and us forever. Hey, praise the Lord for his mercy and us forever. Praise the Lord for his mercy and was forever. And when they began to sing, a new sound was released. A sound was released in the spirit. Now the Bible doesn't tell us that the enemies had them sing. Mm -mm. What happened is that the, 
the people of Judah began to praise and worship God. And when, began, when they began to praise God, they released a sound. And this sound attacked the enemies in the realm of the spirit and brought confusion. And two of the nations rose up against one and they killed every one of them. And when they were done, they turned against each other and killed until the last soldier. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Verse 24. So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude and there were and there were their dead bodies fallen on the earth. No one had escaped. No demon escapes the divine sound. That's what I'm saying. We are winning by sound. No evil spirit can escape. You can sacrifice a thousand bulls and still demons will escape and still enemies will escape. But you can never release a sound in the spirit and the devils will escape. The Bible says no one escaped when they came to peep in the wilderness. They saw dead bodies lying everywhere. Dead bodies. Now watch this. Verse 25. When Joseph and his people and his people came to, to take away their spoil. Now watch this. These guys did not fight. These guys did not waste any bullet. These guys did not waste any arrow. These guys did not waste any rocket. Let me say it like that for you to understand what I'm saying. These guys of Judah did not waste anything. What they did, they opened their mouth and began to worship and began to praise. And when they began to praise, they released a sound in the realm of the spirit. And when they released that sound, the enemy was set in ambush. Now this is what is setting an ambush on the enemy. This is what is going to make God set an ambush on your enemies. What? Sound. Sound. It's a prophetic sound. It's a prophetic sound. I say it's a prophetic sound. Now watch this. They came to collect spoil. They found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies. Hmm. They were valuables and precious jewelry which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away and they were three days gathering the spoil because there was so much after releasing a sound it took Judah three days it took Judah three days to collect spoil you are looking at what I'm saying going to collect Gold, silver, jewelry, expensive things, weapons of war. It took them three days. The first day from morning to evening, collecting spoil. And then the second day. And then the third day. Now this is to show you that the army that had come against them, they were in multitudes. They would not have won the battle. Jehoshaphat had looked at the at the at the war and said we can't win this one if we go man to man we can't fight this one we need God and God gives them a way out he said release a sound and when Judah released a sound in the realm of the spirit listen to me I am talking to you right now because you need to release a sound in the spirit you got to sing while driving you got to sing you got to sing while while cooking you got to sing in your bedroom you got to sing in your sitting room you got to sing everywhere you are you got to release a sound it is time to release a prophetic sound of revival it is time to unlock that sound hey, a prophetic sound a divine sound that will destroy the forces of darkness that are fighting against your life and against all that you do it is time it's time to release a sound it is time to release that sound 
It is time to release a sound in the spirit. And my time is up. But I declare in the name of Jesus. As it took them three days. This is a special month. Look at what sound unlocked. Three days of collecting spoil. The first day. From morning till evening. And I'm sure while it's still dark. They were still collecting. Guys were still collecting. Because you, you don't get it. When you have to collect diamonds. When you have to collect jewelry. There is, there is a motivation that comes. It's like for example. I take you somewhere. And say begin to collect dollars. Begin to pick dollars from the ground. Hey. You will not even have lunch. You will not know when dinner will, time will pass. Because you are, you are collecting. Can you imagine they are collecting from morning to evening? You are not getting what I'm saying. This is the power of releasing sound. They are collecting from morning till evening. This is what is going to happen in your life. Now, sound plugs you in into breakthroughs that is overflowing. That, I, 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 my goodness, my goodness. Hmm, watch this. Hey, hey. <laughs> I give you glory. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies, verse 25, and precious jewelry. Now they found among them an abundance. So what is happening is sound plugs you in into abundance. Now they didn't fight for this. They sang into it. They praised into it. It is time to praise God into abundance. It is time to serve the Lord in praise and worship into abundance. Now watch this. Praise is a pathway that leads you to abundance. Hmm. 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 It says there was so much. It took them three days to collect the spoil because it was too much. Abundance is where it is too much. Praising. They began to praise. Now, does it look like foolishness? It looks like foolishness to you. But I need you to praise. I don't know the kind of situation you are in. Because number one, I need you to understand something. These guys had panicked already. They had gone to battle. And when you read their up there, you will find where Joseph had is crying to God. So we can't handle these people. We can't fight this battle. God knows you can't handle it. God knows you cannot handle the battle before you. But there's a way out. <laughs> there's a way out when God is... Because this is the only way to invite God. The Bible says that God abides in the praises of his people. He inhabits... So in other words, what happened when they began to release sound, God inhabited that sound. And you know, God can never fail. And you know, God cannot miss anything. And you know, nobody can fight God. So God came, it's the armies of heaven came down and began to fight the battle for Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah. This is the secret this season. In every season, listen to me carefully, in every season, there is always a secret. In every season, God always releases a secret. Heaven has given us a secret for this November that we are winning by sound. You are winning by sound. Judah was in a situation they were tensed. They were discouraged. Let me talk to you right now. Even though you are discouraged. You know why the devil is bringing discouragement? So that there will be no sound released. Listen to this one. The devil is so determined. That you will not release a sound to fight him. The devil knows. That when all is well, you are going to praise him. I mean, you're going to praise God. The devil is aware. So he's working tirelessly. 
to make sure that you will not be in a mood to praise God. You will not be in a mood to worship God. You will not be in a mood to release a sound. The happenings around you may not dictate that you release a sound. But we are not doing things by moods or by happenings or by feelings. Take away your feelings. Some of you listening to me. Some of you are at the lowest moments of life. But the Lord is saying, take off or put off the armor of feelings. It is from the devil. The devil just came with his armor and put it on you. An armor of feelings, emotions, or emotions. An armor of happenings. You are so full of what is happening around you. Now there is... That what the devil does is when he wants not a sound released he will shut your mouth and how does the devil shut your mouth the devil shut your mouth to make sure that there will be no sound released by bringing difficulties by bringing problems by bringing issues there will be a sickness on this side a disease on the other side an attack on the other side you know money is not coming through on the other side oh I don't know this is not done I don't know if this one is not done and the devil will rise up to mute you don't you allow yourself be muted by the happenings don't you allow yourself be silenced in this season a sound is needed I hear the Lord say son tell them I am waiting for their sound I am waiting for their praise heaven is so ready like this that the heaven is waiting for your praise and as when the heaven receives your praise heaven is waiting for praise because a sound it's released from the realms of the spirit. We release praise uh -huh. into the atmosphere, into the spiritual realm of God. And the spiritual realm releases a sound against the enemies. Don't you be muted. Don't you be silenced. Let praise come forth. Let that be worship in your mouth. And the kind of worship I'm talking about, look at how they are praising. Praise the Lord. Not just any kind of a sound. Praise the Lord. No, don't allow the devil to give you songs that are fleshly, that are soulish, that have no benefit, that are not praising God. It's about praising Him. It's about praising the Lord. There are songs that don't praise God. When you realize that you are singing a song that is not praising God, just know that the devil is involved. Praise the Lord for his mercy and do us forever. A sound is needed. Father, oh, stretch your hands here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children. I pray for the church. I pray for your people. Let there be praise in our mouths. Let there be worship in our mouths. Let there be sound released in the realms of the spirit. Let the spirit of praise. Let the spirit of worship begin to flow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the spirit of praise. Hey. Ah. Praise is... I saw a sword being released. So as you praise the Lord, you will be releasing. They will be like rockets released from thy tongue, from thy mouth, from thy lips. You will be releasing against the enemies of God, against your enemies, against the enemies of your finances. I am here to tell you what the Father has spoken to me concerning the season and this is the secret it is time to praise receive the grace receive the anointing receive the ability to praise even in your lowest moments don't you lack praise don't allow don't allow you 
not to have praise in your mouth praise him I say praise him I say praise him I say praise him it is time to praise him because we are winning by sound there are moments when heaven will say it is time to fast there are moments when heaven will say it is time to sow seeds it, the seasons come with different revelations that God releases now this season we need to release sound sound if you are not born again I want to give you a chance to give your life to Jesus say after me father I receive Christ to be my Lord and my Savior forgive me all my sins wash me with thy blood write my name in the book of life in Jesus name amen if you pray that prayer you are born again you are saved yes it is well God bless you God favor you you can call that number down your screen for inquiries for for prayers for prophetic declarations but I spoke that I'm not I know time is gone but God bless you God favor you this fellowship is here in the heart of Nairobi in Nairobi city center Sandim shopping complex opposite Equity Bank along Mfangano Street uh -huh. we are Eagles Dominion House International God bless you God favor you I love you Shalom Shalom Shalom